Hi, my name is Kathy Dixon. I'm a teacher leader in residence for K-8 Math for Open Up Resources. I've got something really exciting to tell you about our K-5 math curriculum. I'm just, it's really like literally hot off the presses as of 6 p.m. last night. So I'm gonna kind of read this um, so it's fresh in my mind. K-5 math now has digital manipulatives. In our unwavering dedication to fostering equity in education, we are thrilled to announce a groundbreaking addition to our K-5 curriculum pages, the all new Math Tools Suite. This innovative collection comprises 16 digital manipulative tools designed to provide enhanced support for students in their mathematical journey. Among the diverse array of tools available, you will discover essential resources such as base 10 blocks, fraction strips, 10 frames, and many more. These digital manipulatives aim to enrich the learning experience, promoting a deeper understanding of mathematical concepts while ensuring inclusivity for all students. Let's take a look. All right, and away we go. We're gonna go into the website. Now keep in mind, I have not really explored this very much, so I'm doing it with you um, as I'm creating this video. So you wanna go into openupresources.org and go into our K-5 math suite. And then let's just choose first grade. I have a teacher login. Um, this resource tab here has this drop down, and it used to be that centers was at the bottom of that. But now we have that tab for math tools. You would also be able to access that, like if you were in a given unit, you always have that resource um, drop down here. So go into math tools, and yes, indeed, we do have 16 digital manipulatives here. Um, one that I did explore last night was this 120 board. Um, you can go ahead and choose the paint can. Students could choose a color there, and let's say you're having them count by tens, so they could go ahead and mark this here. There's an eraser tool to undo what they did. Um, we also have a circle tool. So let's say you want them um, to count by threes. They could go ahead and circle and show their knowledge and understanding that way. Okay, so we have a um, place value board here with the uh, base 10 blocks, and they could be manipulating those over here into the correct place value, counting by ones, counting by tens, lots of applications with that. Uh, we have fraction tiles. So start by dragging a fraction here so we could have students comparing fractions, you know, comparing one half to one fourth by lining this up here. They could see how many one fourths are in one half, all kinds of applications there. We have spinners. We could change the number of sections here. Let's say I only want six session, sections in my spinner. You could hide the colors, you could hide the numbers, and you just press spin to go ahead and spin. We have two color counters, um, all kinds of applications that you can use with that. Okay, also we have 10 frames. Love working with 10 frames. Let's go ahead and there we go, refresh my screen. So you can use this plus sign here to add another 10 frame. You can have students um, manipulate these little counters into the 10 frames, right? They can be comparing thinking how many more to make a 10. So if we have five, six, seven, and they're count practicing counting on, we can do that. So many applications. Uh, we have number cubes. Oh, so we can roll the dice. That's always fun. We could change color. Not sure, oh, the color of the dice maybe. Oh, can roll two dice. Uh, we have unifix cubes. So we can be building cube towers, connecting cubes. Those are manipulatives that are introduced very early on in kindergarten. All sorts of applications. Um, I wanna make sure that I let you know that this would be available to caregivers, uh, parents and families as well. So if I went back, to open up resources. And let's say I'm logging in as a parent, I'm going into grade one, and I wanna use my family account. You still go under that resource dropdown and you certainly have the math tools available. Those would be available on any page that they would be on in the curriculum website. So very exciting and stay tuned for more ahead because I'll probably be posting more video content 
showing how to use and apply these, but already I'm thinking about teachers being able to send things home, center games with parents, as long as they have a desktop or a laptop computer, because these digital manipulatives are best used and are most optimized with desktop and laptop computers. All right, thanks for watching. Are you ready for more?